My name is Nicole Clark, and I've been an early childhood educator for over 10 years. As an early childhood educator, I'm in a classroom with a kindergarten teacher, and my day starts quite early, and it is very busy and interesting. The majority of my children in September are starting at the age of three to five years old, and our day is really working on the children learning respect, responsibility, resiliency, and uh, perseverance so that they're learning the basic skills to go forward into school. It's imperative that we are in the kindergarten classroom for a multitude of reasons. We are teaching curriculum, but it is not from the viewpoint of this is a ways and means to make you learn. It is more of a holistic approach because we're trying to understand who the child is, what their learning styles are, and what their interests are. And so by learning all of those things and making a close connection with our students, we're able to get them excited about learning. We create a safe space for the children so that they know when they come to school, they're seen, they're heard, and they can grow. A school is supposed to be a safe environment and we create that within the classroom. What it looks like to strengthen our public education is more supports in the classroom, whether it be speech, whether it be um, physical therapy. There needs to be more supports than just me and my teaching partner. We have degrees amongst ourselves, but we don't necessarily have the information and the know-how to take care of these other problems. Some schools are sharing a mental health worker amongst three or four schools. Uh, there is not enough uh, supports going around, period. There's not enough educational assistance. There is, there is class sizes that are too large to mitigate all of these interpersonal needs. And without taking care of these other problems, we're doing a disservice to not only these children, but our futures. We are creating the thinkers and the businesses and the workers for tomorrow. And it just seems a shame to me that we don't put more infrastructure and money up front to be proactive as opposed to doing something reactive at the end.